Uh, someone that has a beard knows how to take care of a beard. Estaba rico, por eso regresé. Crossing the streets here is kind of dangerous. This is where I should have got coffee, actually. It's café, ¿verdad? Okay, ¿me puede dar uno, por favor? Pito. I think an accident happened over here. Hola. Good morning, guys, from Pereira. We, I mean, I am on my way to a, look for a barber shop so they can fix up this uh, this mess that I have here. It's like around 11 a.m. over here uh, in Pereira, Colombia. Let me show you guys around here. So this is where my Airbnb is at, down this street right here, where I came out of. And then they have, you know, all these other little spots here to uh, to stay at. It's like a little, I don't know if that's an apartment building or a hotel or what. But that's downhill over there. And you can see more of the, uh, that's another city over there called Dos Quebradas. A small little town. And this is all Pereira over here. So yeah, we're gonna go for a walk and find a barber shop. And what's really awesome of where I'm staying at, they have like a guard that's there. 12 hour shifts and then they switch the morning with another guy, but the guy at night, I have to show you him. He's an older man, 70 years old. And you might be thinking, well, what is he gonna do protecting the area? He's a character, he's so funny. Cause I, I don't understand most of what he's saying. Because uh, the way that he talks. But I love that man. I love him a lot because he's super kind to me. And he treats me with a lot of respect. Like when I'm get, uh, coming out of the Airbnb to go to the store or something, he always wants to go with me. And we go buy uh, like water or something. And he wants to carry like the case. And the other day he was carrying two cases for me. And I was like, there's no way. So I'll help them out. But he like wanted to. Like, he, as, as old as he is, I mean, he's a strong man. But he's like really nice. And I was coming back, uh, me and Johanna were coming back from uh, a night out. And he met me outside. And he uh, he was telling he was uh, asking like what were you guys doing? You guys had fun, and I invited him in for a shot of aguardiente, and he was down, so we took a shot, and then yesterday, when his shift started and I saw him, he came up to me and I was gonna give him a handshake, and he didn't let me. He's like, no, you're gonna give me a hug, and that was just so sweet. Like, I fell in love with him instantly right there. But right here, let me show you. As I'm walking through here. It is Saturday over here. What is it? December 2nd, I think. This might be a barber shop here. ¿Es barbería aquí? Sí. ¿Podría para que me hagan la barba? ¿Es posible o tienen que ser cita o algo así? Es cita. Ah, es con cita. Ah, ok. Porque, vale. Ah, es que hoy, si quieres ya te doy 12 segunditos. Ok. Hola, hola, amigas. Hola, amiga. ¿Qué dice? Estoy, estoy, es, um, ¿cómo se dice? Para hacer la barba. Esto nomás, sí, ajá. Es posible. Ok. Check out this barber shop. It's really, really nice. That looks really good. Está bien bonito aquí. No tienen ahorita. Ok, está bien. ¿Me puede recomendar otra que, que hacen algo, que puedan hacer algo bueno? Salá. ¿Qué dice amigo? Arturo, mucho gusto. If they can recommend another shop. En 30 minutos, ok, está bien, perfecto. Sí, por... gracias, muchas gracias. So, ya yeah, asked me if they can recommend another place. ¿Hay agua, café, agua? Agua, por favor. Sí. They even bring you something to drink, too. 
um, yeah, I asked them if I can, uh, they can recommend another shop because they said that they couldn't accommodate me. But then uh, they asked this gentleman over here, the one that greeted me, and he said that, yeah, since it's just a beard, so in like 30 minutes they'll take care of me. Really nice of them. And usually I don't like to go with someone that doesn't have a beard. I don't think that gentleman has a beard. No, he's a clean face. Because someone that has a beard knows how to take care of a beard. But that's just my thought. And I usually don't go to barbershops to get my beard done. I do it myself. But I do like to go when I go to different countries to try it out and see how they do it. And also to know the prices too. Because in the United States, to get my beard done, oh man, it's crazy. It's like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. And that's without the tip. I mean, I know that the, I mean, obviously the United States is expensive, but in the other countries I've been to, like Mexico has been the cheapest. Um, Costa Rica has been somewhat fair, as long as they don't know you're from the United States. Because one time I went to a barber shop there and they, uh, the gentleman thought that I was from Costa Rica and he gave me the price, um, it was like six bucks. But for people that are from out of, uh, out of the country, which look at that, amiga. So yeah, this is the water right here. Um, he told me the regular price after he got to know me and I told him I'm from the United States. He's like, oh man, I messed up. Um, I thought you were from here. And he, uh, he, gave me, he gave me the information of how much he charges for people that are from the United States. And it was like 13 bucks, pretty much double. Yeah, pretty much double. Costa Rica has been an expensive country, almost U.S. prices. Colombia has been an amazing country as far as pricing for like food, for where you stay at. We'll see how much it is. Disculpe, amiga, ¿cuánto cobran para la barba aquí? Veinte. Ah, okay. <laughs> So it's 20,000 of Colombian pesos. So that's five, five bucks. Five bucks to do, um, to do the beer. That's, that's cheap. All right, y'all, so I just finished in there. I, um, it came out okay. It's not, um, uh, what I'm used to. I like it to be like lined up and like this. I didn't want to have to tell him what to do. I wanted to get the experience because I can just fix this up myself. But um, he, he was super awesome. He was super awesome. I don't know what you guys think. I usually get it like it's really lined up. It lines up with this and it just looks cleaner. It's all right. We can just fix that. So yeah, I'm gonna keep on walking. I'm gonna try to get some breakfast, see if it's possible. And have some coffee, I still have not had coffee. And I love coffee, but I just have not had any coffee here while I'm in Colombia. I think the only place that I know of that still has breakfast is the place I went to the other day. It's like a, uh, like a bakery, a bakery store and a restaurant. And I think they have breakfast all day. I think it's called almuerzo, desayuno, I don't know. I get them confused because I think, to me, it's the same thing. It's what you eat in the morning. But we're gonna try and figure out what we can get or if they still have it. Check it out, this is where I'm walking through. Bought some fruit from this gentleman the other day. It was, uh, it was a cool experience because we were laughing, he was joking around, and um, really cool gentleman. Yeah, we'll keep walking. In the area where I'm at, I mean, I'm sure in other places it's not safe. Just like, you know, when you go to the United States, there's places that are not safe. Some cities or like some different hoods. But here it feels really, really safe. Look at the, the way this tree is designed. How 
hope y'all can see it good. Here's a uh, like a little coffee, coffee little shop. Has a coffee, hot chocolate. It's a little park here. People are usually just sitting here chilling. Bring the kids, play a little bit. It's a very, very busy intersection. Very busy street over here too. It is, uh, I've seen a lot of uh, vehicles. It's constantly noisy here. And this is like a hospital, a little, or a clinic. I don't know, I think it's a hospital. But it's very big. So when I'm walking through here, I see a lot of like nurses walking out so I'm pretty sure that's a hospital usually when I'm walking through here especially around this time it is busy lots of noise and today just seems to be today just seems to be quiet very quiet <laughs> saying hi. <laughs> it's very cute. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, this place is really nice to walk. All kinds of walks of life. <laughs> que dice amiga? People are nice. So this is the place where I uh, got some breakfast last time. So I'm gonna try it, something different. Because the food that I had last time was really, really good. It was super good. <laughs> no sea tímida. ¿Qué dice, amigo? Para comer aquí se sienta uno ordenado. Dale pues, gracias. Yeah, so we're gonna get some uh, breakfast. <laughs> Hasta come también aquí usted. Sí. Es muy tímida usted. She works here, and the other day I was uh, doing a video, and she was super shy. Hold on. Yeah, she was being super shy. And, uh, but yeah, the food was really good. I can tell, I mean, they, they serve a lot of uh, plates with uh, rice and beans. And today, I think I'm gonna eat, I, I want some eggs and ham. But I can tell that the food is good when you taste the beans because they're actually cooked here. Like in the United States, you go to like a Mexican restaurant. Um, they usually have like pre-made beans that they buy from like the store and they resell it to you. And you can tell the restaurant's good if they actually cook the beans themselves. And you can you can taste the difference. I mean, I can. But that's how I tell if the restaurant is good or not because it, it has uh, the, 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 the flavor of it being cooked. Homemade. Yeah, I'm gonna try some uh, eggs and ham here and see what that's like. And then keep walking and experience a little bit more, show you more of a little bit of Pereira, see what that's like. And you guys can see more of uh, Colombia around here. Overall, guys, I love the feeling of uh, Colombia very much. It's super chill, it's more upbeat, kind of like how Mexico is. And uh, definitely, definitely like that. No le entiendo. Hermosito. Ah, tiene huevo con jamón. Me da eso, por favor. Sí, nomás uno y me da un café. Sí. ¿Cómo? Tinto. ¿Qué es eso? Oscuro. Sí, oscuro, sí. Sin leche, por favor. Huevos con jamón y un tinto. Sí. Muchas gracias. Yeah, so I just ordered the eggs and ham. And then um, it comes with an arep, I think. Um, no beans, no rice, but I also ordered a coffee because I really want to taste the, the, what the coffee is like. So I'm going to try that out. Thank you. Experience that for the first time here. Alright, just so the food just got here, so did the coffee. I'm going to try it out so you guys can see. That's the coffee here. And that is the eggs and ham with the little bread. So it's not a not enough, it's just like a little, like a croissant looks like, no. It's not, the, it's not a croissant, just like a little piece of bread, and then you get the, some butter. And you get I'm gonna try out this coffee and see what that's like. And 
since it's, uh, I don't like to put any sugar in it, so we can taste the coffee and see how good it is. And it's good. It's really good. It has a very strong flavor. They bring like this little thing full of uh, like it's hot water to add more to it if you don't like it so dark. And the eggs and ham. I mean, it's just eggs and ham. You know, it's not anything special, but the eggs do taste different here. They're more uh, farm fresh eggs. A little bit of eggs and ham in it. Just finished. <clears throat> I'm gonna go pay and then um, start walking back. Hola. Listo, amiga. Listo, mira. Tengo que tengo unos huevos con jamón. Ajá. Y otro. Sí. Serían 12 500. 12 500. Sí, señor. Sí. Hola. Buenas. Muchísimas gracias. Estaba rico, por eso regresé. Sí, estaba bueno. Muchas gracias. Que pasen un buen día, ¿ok? Bye. Nos, ahí nos vemos, amiga. Nos anda escondiendo. Ay, no. <laughs> que pasen buen día. I'm gonna head back. The experience is, is always good. It's always been good here in Colombia. Everywhere I've gone to go eat, even walking down the streets, it feels safe. There's a lot of, uh, you know, like activity and stuff. There's a lot of moving parts, but. If you're afraid of things like that, it might be difficult. But you can see, I mean, there's a lot of people around here. It's, so it's a lot of, it's a, it's a busy place where, where people are uh, walking at. And there'd be, uh, you know, like police patrolling the area. Sometimes they're like just sitting in the corner watching everything that's happening. But I mean, overall it feels safe. People are super nice, they're kind. See, like the police is right there. I don't know why it's such a big truck, but, and a lot of people are driving motor motorcycles here. It's more convenient to get around in a motorcycle, but the driving is crazy, guys. Crossing the streets here is kind of dangerous, I would say. Like, especially like this intersection I've crossed a couple of times already. And these cars don't stop. You gotta just pick the right moment and go. I mean, I'm sure they do stop, but it's like a constant go, especially in vehicles around here. You see, like, there's more people in the park now. You can see. Everything is just so green over here. So pretty. It's peaceful. We're gonna stop by at this uh, location over here. I'm kind of craving a hot chocolate, maybe. We're gonna try that out. Hola. Vi a la la no sé cómo se llama la la que trabaja allá. Ahorita estaba allá también. Ahora te veo yo a ti aquí. Bien, ¿y usted? Bien. ¿Qué andan haciendo? Mi nombre es Arturo. Mucho gusto, Juan. Mucho gusto. Juan. Juan también. Juan, dos Juanes. Ah, ok. Y se bueno. sigue haciendo sus videos. Sí, para que vea la gente qué tan bonito está aquí, Colombia. Me encanta mucho Colombia. Yo quiero, quiero re regresar a, a ver todo Colombia. Porque está, está bien bonito. Quiero ir a pues, conocer Medellín. Es Pero ya casi me devuelve. Sí, me voy el lunes. El lunes, porque ya tengo como una semana y no sé qué tantos días aquí, pero voy a regresar pronto en enero. Pero me voy a quedar como por un mes. Sí, porque tengo que sí, conocer más y para que la gente vea qué, qué tan bonito es. Porque nosotros que somos de los Estados Unidos nos dicen que, que no vayamos especial a Colombia o México porque está bien peligroso. Pero sí. a mí me gusta hacerlo peligroso, por eso yo viajo a diferentes países y enseño. Sí, a Cali. No, sí, me gusta el frío. Pero para ir a verlo todavía, quiero ver Cali, sí. Ajá. ¿Qué dice que le gusta lo peligroso? Sí, allá sí. 
Sí, me quiero meter al barrio y para que la gente vea lo real de, de Colombia también, porque en estas partes son turísticos, ¿verdad? Se siente seguro y cosas así. Quiero sentir lo real de, de Colombia. Sí, ajá. Sí, ajá. Sí, todo ahí. Sí, todo. <risa> Nada de turístico, es todo peligroso. Pero sí. Peligroso pero bonito. Ok. Ah, ok. Bueno, pues que pasen un buen día. Nos vemos pronto. Gracias. So you can see, I mean, people are kind. They just want to talk. They uh, they they greet you, and you can just talk. You know. And then you get like little, little ideas or little, uh, you know, places where you should go. Like, uh, because I honestly, I'm coming back. I need to come back and, ex and spend way more time. Because I'm only here for like 10 days. But I need to experience more, more of Colombia because it's very, very beautiful. And it's not just the, uh, I mean, Pereira is a small little town. It's not the touristic. I like it because I don't like touristic places, but I want to experience Medellin. And I want to go to like uh, Comuna 13. I want to see all the, uh, I mean, just what all of Col what Colombia has to offer. Like they were explaining that uh, Cali is dangerous. I mean, I like to experience that to see how dangerous it is because they told me the same thing about a place in Costa Rica and I was walking through that neighborhood and uh, I mean, I'm sure that it's dangerous, but you just gotta know when to get out. Or just feel the vibes and the energy. If it doesn't feel good, then you get out. But here, I have not felt that way. Downtown, when I was downtown yesterday, that was a little chaotic. It was just busy. Oh look, this is the, uh, I think this is the coffee lady. Maybe this is where I should try the coffee. I have another one. This is where I should have got coffee, actually. Oh, watch, well, I think she's, yeah, I think it's coffee. But yeah, we'll go to that, and so you guys can experience a little bit of these little stalls in the corners. Hola, amiga. ¿Cómo está? Uh, es café, ¿verdad? Okay, ¿me puede dar uno, por favor? Pinto. Es que no sé cómo, es que no soy de aquí, so quiero yo nomás, como allá de donde vengo yo a Estados Unidos, dicen café americano y la dan. Eso es lo que, sí, me da uno, por favor. ¿De dónde viene este frío? Es, es aquí en Colombia. Sí. Ah, ok. Y aquí solo puro café, no como chocolate, algo así. Ok. Café, cappuccino, chocolate, chocolate. Ah, también chocolate aquí. Milo. Ah. ¿Qué es su nombre, amiga? Liliana. ¿Cómo? Liliana. Liliana, ok. ¿Es de aquí? Ajá. ¿De Pereira? Sí. ¿O nació aquí usted? ¿Usted quiere que se lo endulce con...? No, me gusta así probarlo Liliana. natural, sí. Para saber cómo sabe el café colombiano. Eso <risa> tiene como diferente... ¿Qué es, ¿Qué es lo que tiene aquí? Almohada. ¿Y este es su negocio o usted trabaja aquí? Yo lo trabajo. Usted lo trabaja, ok. Pues so she's fixing up the coffee right now. ¿Cuánto le debo, amiga? $2,500. $2,500. So, that's like about, like 75 cents. Let me get some money really quick. $2,500. Creo que tengo el cambio, un momento. ¿Es? ¿Con ese? Ah, ok, perfecto. Pruébelo, a ver cómo... ¿Cómo está? Se le más agüita, tinta. Ok. So I'm gonna taste this right here. This is the coffee. I'm gonna try it out. No, está rico. Me gusta así oscuro. Sí. Muchas gracias, amiga. Que pasen buen día. Igualmente. Gracias. So yeah, that was the, uh, there's a lot of like little coffee shops like that. I mean, little coffee stalls. 
just like that. I mean, you can find them in the corner and in different parts of the uh, city. I've seen them. And uh, so I thought that that was her stall, but no, it's like, uh, it's her. She works there. Yeah, she works there. I'm gonna walk through over here because I need to find a uh, nail clippers. And um, so I'm gonna walk to the pharmacy over here. And hopefully I can find some nail clippers because I need to I need to cut my nails. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see if we find them. Hopefully we have some luck because I have not been able to find any. And I keep forgetting to tell Johanna to bring some from her house. But we'll cross. Okay, send me go. Hopefully, I'll we'll find some right here. They got a little ice cream shop here. You can get some ice cream. Yeah, we'll walk in here. And see, they have some. Let's see. Hola, amigo. Tienen a corta para cortar las uñas. Sí, tiene. Sí, por favor. ¿Algo más? No, es todo. ¿El qué? Uh, no, no tengo. Sí, así. ¿Me puede tirar el recibo, por favor? Muchas gracias. Bonito día. So now I'm going to walk back head back to, now that I finally got my nail clippers, go back, shower, cut my nails, and then uh, see what the day brings. Our uh, Uber driver, Julian, he, super awesome dude, super awesome dude, young kid, 26 years old. Um, yeah, I grew up in Cali and uh, moved over here, started working. And um, he was telling me his girlfriend lives in, in Cali and he lives over here and it's been a while since he's seen her. So I told him, bring her over here and um, we can all hang out. So yesterday when we were hanging out, he's like, she's gonna probably come today and then uh, we can go out tonight. And the only thing is that I don't, like where he lives, he has to ask permission where does where to uh where to stay i mean for her to stay there and and i told him come stay at the airbnb where i'm at there's an extra bedroom and he like, couldn't believe that i was offering that to him and he was so happy so she's coming down for sure today they're gonna stay with us and uh tonight i gotta i mean tomorrow i gotta move out of that airbnb and uh, so I rented another one that's a little bit more roomier so he and his uh, girlfriend can stay there also. And, um, but yeah, I'm gonna be heading out back to Miami on Monday. And uh, I think Monday, yeah, Monday. And, um, but yeah, I'm gonna experience uh, the rest of the, the, this uh, trip here with, uh, with Julian and his girlfriend and uh, go out to eat and they're gonna show me around a little bit and uh, experience Colombia through their eyes also of what they what they can show me so I'm definitely excited about that Julian's amazing dude I'll uh, provide you guys his, with his number if you need if you need a you know an uber driver very kind guy like he acts like he's like my bodyguard it's funny like he's always watching out to see if I'm okay and I appreciate things like that you know and I tip him very well too because, I mean, I appreciate people like that. But he has such a kind heart, very respectful dude. And, um, I mean, I'm falling in love with people here. The people here are just amazing. They're, they're really, really kind. And, but Julian is a character that I really appreciate that I've met here. Really good dude, and he deserves a lot, you know? He deserves opportunity. And I like that he wants to learn wants to advance because he's trying to learn English and he's constantly on the Duolingo app so when he sees me he's always telling me new things 
and it helps him to learn also and to uh, you know if he's using the words he'll learn it more I think an accident happened over here we'll see we'll see what happened because they're just parked in the middle of the street Hola, chocaron. Todos están bien? Sí. sí. Ah, okay. They got into an accident and uh, just making sure that everybody's okay. It didn't look really bad, but still got to make sure people are okay. So yeah, I mean, we're going to hang out with Julian and his girlfriend and uh, experience these days with them. And uh, I want to show you also the um, the guy who protects this block here. This is where I've been staying at. So he's in charge of this whole block. Listen to that street right there. And uh, the old gentleman, <laughs> he's always just walking here. Oh, he's sitting down like where that guy's sitting. I guess that's the guy that, that protects this block during the, uh, during the day here. And the other gentleman's at night. ¿Qué dice amigo? Bien, bien, gracias. Todo Dios. bien. Sí, sí bonito día. ¿Dónde? Aprovechando el veranito. Sí, está bonito. ¿Sí qué? Bonito. Sí. Pues sí, caminando a ver qué, qué se encuentra uno, ver lo bonito que es aquí de Colombia. Sí, me está encantando mucho. Ya está todo marcado. Mande. ¿De dónde? ¿De dónde vino? ¿De dónde? De los Estados Unidos. Sí, sí de Texas. Pero usted aquí es colombiano. Es colombiano. Ah, no, no, es mi no. primera vez aquí. Está bonito aquí, hermoso. Mande. Avispado y mirando. Sí. Bueno, sí, sí. Voy a tener que regresar. Sí. Sí. Y me encanta la clima aquí. Es cal, está un poquito calor, pero no tanto como en otros. <laughs> no. Estados Unidos cuando hace calor que tiene que estar en el agua y no. Ay, hermano. Eso sí está aterrado. Está frío. Frío. Ay, ay, puro hielo. Puro hielo. Sí, Sí, pero es muy es tranquilo los sábados porque ah, ayer sí había mucha gente en esta hora. Mucho, mucho. Sí. ¿No yo para el centro? Sí, ayer fui. Uh, oh, ahí estaba pero lleno. Sí, con la cámara. Sí. ¿Todo el día tú, ¿verdad? Sí. Muchísima gente. No, se siente uno como está bien apretado. apretado, sí, porque sí hay mucha gente, pero estaba bonito experienciar todo de allí, los puestecitos y. No, y, de, y, de, y ¿Cuánto queda por aquí? ¿Hasta cuándo? Ah, me voy mañana de aquí. Sí. No me quiero ir. Esa oh, es la cosa. No, espere el 8 de diciembre y verá. Sí. Como parece todo. Ajá. Se ve bonito. Sí. sí. <ríe> ¿Y qué es su nombre, amigo? Arquimedes. Arquimedes, yo soy Arturo. Arturo. Javier. 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 Mucho gusto, encantado de conocerlos, eh. Pero perdón, usted ya bajó de noche. En la noche estaba en el centro allá. ¿Bonito? Sí. sí. Anoche, anoche. ¿O iluminado? No, todavía no. No, ah, no porque todavía regresé no. como a las seis y media, Como todavía no estaba. Aquí iluminan después del 8 de diciembre, ahí sí. Ah, ok. Después del 8 de diciembre iluminan todo y eso de poner lindo el Parque de la Libertad. La, en el Bolívar, puente, el puente. En, el 30, en el 30, en el 30 fuimos a un mirador, yo creo que se dice, y estamos viendo que no, todas las, las luces, ¿cómo se dicen los, los cohetes que estaban? Ah, el, el, el adulto. Sí, el ajá. puente. Sí. ¿No hay arriba? Sí, aquí arriba. ¿A ese, a ese filo arriba? Sí. Ah, sí. se ve todo. Sí, se ve todo, ajá, sí. Bueno, pues muchas gracias bueno, por su tiempo bien, y lo seguimos viendo. Bueno, bueno. Y usted se lleva esto para allá y usted lo ve allá. Sí, ajá. A nosotros nos ve y todo. Sí, ah, ajá. Allá, allá, los amigos, lo, eh, lo subo, eh, sí. Allá. Para subirlo en el YouTube sí, o en los, ¿cómo se dice? En los sociales esos como Instagram, cosas así. Ajá, sí. Bueno, ah, bueno. bonito día, amigos. Bueno, bueno.
pronto se le ofrece algo que, que comprar abajo la tienda, alguna cosa así, me dice bueno. que lo va a huir. El otro muchacho que está aquí en la noche, ¿cómo se llama? Ah, Libardo. Libardo. ¿Cómo? Libardo. Libardo, ok. Se le toca de noche. Sí. Y yo, así en el día, aquí, aquí me ocupa también para hacer sí, me, me encanta mucho él, es muy buena persona sí, también. Él, sí, muy malo, ¿eh? sí, ajá. Bueno pues, bueno. bonito día. You can see, I mean, kind people, and I love it. I love it. Ahí voy para allá abajo, mi amigo. Sí. This is the gentleman who he even came over here and knocked on the door just to say hi to me. ¿Qué dice, amigo? Bien. Todo bien. Todo bien. ¿Se qué? Nada, nada, nada. Todo bien aquí, nomás disfrutando la noche. ¿La noche? Sí. ¿Qué anda haciendo usted? Ya empezó su, su noche. ¿Ah? Ya empezó su noche de trabajar. Ahí ya. Sí. ¿Cómo se siente? No, bien. Al 100. Al 100. Sí. Nos vamos a tomar un trago más tarde en la noche. Pero usted dijo que salí más para tomar y... <risa> Me quedé dormido. No, yo, 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 soy mi per... yo soy... Yo no sirvo para molestar a la gente. Nada, ah, no. no, sí me quedé dormido temprano. Sí. ¿Cómo se la pasó noche? ¿Todo cal calmado aquí? Sí, calmado. Sí, no pasó nada. Ah, ¿qué pasó? ¿Para qué? ¿Que vinieron? ¿Qué pasó? Eh, eh, que vinieron anoche. ¿Quién? Que para ocuparle la, el apartamento y yo no está alquilado. Hola niña, ¿cómo me la han tratado? Porque no va. Me han tratado muy bien. ¿Te que yo me corté las uñas? Tranquila, eso no es problema. Me corté las uñas para no. ¿Y qué pasa con las uñas? No, me las corté para que. Ah, que a ustedes vinieron a. ¿Vinieron aquí? No, sí. Y no, y, y está esta, si está ahí, eh, hágame el favor que... ¿Dónde es que alquilan que un apartamento? Y yo, no, eso ya está alquilado, mijo. Ajá. Sí, ya está ocupado. Como que querían entrar. Ah, le tocaron a ustedes no, me re... no, no, no escuché nada yo en la noche. No. Sí. No tiene no... que respetar... ¿Pero quién era? ¿No sabe quién? No, no, había dos, dos mujeres. ¿Dos mujeres? Y un hombre. Ah. No, ya, que no le diga, no, no esté diciendo esas cosas si la está escuchando ahí arriba. No diga esas cosas, amigo. Pensé que éramos amigos. Ah, sí, yo. Usted y yo, sí. Sí, eso va a mí. y anoche, muy raro. No, pero no. Nada, nada. No es nada, cariño. Oye, es que yo trabajaba. Oye, ¿tiene un mal mundo usted que San Antonio? Ay, ay, ay. Eso está aquí toda la noche hoy. Sí. Hasta las 7. Hasta las 7 y después se va. Mañana salgo a las 2. Sí, pues me voy a ir a otro, otra casita porque dijo Mariana que no, no tiene disponible. Porque el lunes a las 8 llega alguien. Digo, el, yo me voy el lunes a, a Miami, en Estados Unidos. Sí. Ah, me deja la, el, el número y... Sí, pues le dije a Mariana que voy a regresar. Porque ah. voy a regresar pronto y para quedarme aquí otra vez. Ah, ya. Sí, me gustó la gente de aquí. Especial usted, me gusta verlo. Ah, sí, no, te quiero ver. Sí. Sí. Todavía está, todavía está ahí escuchando. Vamos a hablar de cosas buenas, eh, por favor. No ande hablando... No, que está cero, o sea, ya, ya, como mira. ¿Están hablando ahí? Dígame de los dos hombres que llegaron ayer. No, los dos hombres, no, dos mujeres. Y... Usted no vio nada. No, es el ciego. <risa> Se hizo ciego. 
Mira, pero ¿cuándo vuelve? Yo creo que, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, diciembre, enero. En enero. ¿En enero? Sí. Uh -huh. Pero me voy a quedar para, por más tiempo. Sí. Okay. Estoy, ¿Usted desde cuándo está trabajando aquí? ¿Cuánto tiene trabajando aquí? Llevo 16 años y 5 meses. ¿Haciendo el guardia de aquí? Bueno. Sí. Bueno, pues sí lo voy a ver cuando regrese, pues. Ah, sí, Dios quiere. Sí. Nos presta la vida. Primero Dios. Sí. ¿Cierto? No, me gusta tener que me... Hasta sí. sí. Le dejo mi número también. Ah, sí. Para comunicarlo, le avise llegar cuando voy a regresar también. Para que sepa. Ah, listo. Para que sepa y nos tomamos un trago cuando regrese. Más tarde en la noche cuando regrese también vamos a tomar un trago. Exactamente. ¿Cierto? Sí. Bueno, pues... Yo celebraré la, la venida suya. ¿La qué? La venida suya. ¿Qué es eso? Que vuelve y regresa. Ah, sí. Uh -huh. Que que se la da la... Claro. Uh -huh. Sí. Bueno, pues, amigo, lo veo más tarde. Bueno. Ok. Si, si usted necesita algo, usted me toca también. Quiere agua o algo así, me avisa. No, el agua el, el que usted me dio ahí la tengo todavía. ¿Todavía la tiene? Ah, ok. Bueno, pues, bueno. nos vemos más tarde. Pero la olvida, déjame eso. Me sí. Sí. Yo mañana salgo a las 6 y ya no vuelvo a... Sí, ver. no lo voy a ver, sí, pero lo veo más tarde, pero ahorita le dejo el número. Ah, listo. Deme un momento y ahorita lo busco. Ah, listo. Ok. okay. Bueno, pues, amigo. You can see, I mean, he's kind, so I love that man.